When the trial was offered, Dr. Plemick said to me, if this doesn't work, we're going to find something that does. We're not going to stop. We're all in it together, and I think it is our responsibility to solve this problem. How are you feeling? I'm okay. doing fine. Absolutely. In order for us to be able to help these patients with these really intractable, difficult-to-treat tumors, we can't use the same old strategy. And if you can take a chance, that's when you make really, I think, important findings that are unexpected. So I think the biggest challenge right now is trying to identify which patients will respond to these therapies because only a fraction of the patients will respond. That's the next question that, that the world needs us to answer. Everyone who is here is a pioneer in their own field. And I think the history of Fox Chase is exactly that. Whether we look at Barry Blumberg and the discovery of the hepatitis B virus and the development of the vaccine, or the fact that this was the place that we first realized that cancer was a genetic disorder, all of this shows non-derivative thinking. One of the first immunotherapy protocols, again, when everybody else was making fun of immunologists, was made at Fox Chase. The history has been here. Uh, the commitment has been here. Rarely do stars align quite like this. I think it was probably six months into it, Dr. Plemick had done a repeat CAT scan and she came in and she said, they're melting, the tumors are melting. I went from having 100 sites, within a year, they were completely dissolved. And since that time, my CAT scans have remained clear. I feel better now than I have probably in 10, 15 years. This is something that I always dreamed of seeing in my clinic. The flip side is I'll walk out of seeing Judy into the next room with the patient with the same disease, right? Maybe who even enrolled in the same trial and didn't have such a beautiful response. The stage has been set. A lot of basic science has gone on. We know a lot about the immune system. We don't know everything because it's a really complicated beast, but we know a lot, and there are a lot of things that we are now poised to try, and, and the only thing that limits us is our resources. We've been trying this for 20 or 30 years to try to manipulate the immune system, and now we have reagents that are really able to make that difference. Turn the immune system back on because it's being suppressed by the tumor. There are now four to five new immunotherapy clinical trials going on at Fox Chase that we are starting to acquire samples for. That's a lot of processing. Each sample takes about four to six hours to process and then about an hour to run on the machine. So it's an all day event. Right now we can only bring in patients for trial on certain days because Carrie's Lab Max is out there capacity at three patients per day, three patients per day. So many more of those are gonna be involved in these trials. We wanna have 20 of these trials. We need the resources to provide the equipment for this I think incredible team of people, clinicians, researchers, patients donating their time. And if we lose this opportunity, I think we've done a disservice to our patient, to the community in general, and to the science of it. I think it's really a good thing for all of us. I knew that survival rates were about three years, and that was three years ago. We're at the beginning of changing the whole face of cancer to make everybody's cancer chronic, not terminal. I'd like to be able to tell to a lung cancer patient with metastatic disease, you can live with your cancer like you live with your diabetes or your hypertension or whatever else that you might have. My desire and the desire of every researcher at Fox Chase is to be able to offer hope to anybody who walks through this, uh, the doors of this place, irrespective of the diagnosis, and the immune system offers that hope. It'd be wonderful to meet them and thank them firsthand, it really would, and to shake their hand and say, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit, keep going forward, because the change is phenomenal.